All right, guys, super common problem. A lot of you guys have websites and you're not sure how to keep something in the middle of it. Uh, we want something like this instead of something like that. And the other thing is when I change the size of the screen here, we want it to adjust automatically. I don't want to, you know, you can see my margins here are changing. So we're going to look at how we can set that up to work properly on your site where it's always keeping the content in the middle and it's not keeping everything full screen like that. Luckily for us, this is a really easy thing to do. For this to work, we have to add a little bit of HTML, just one simple div to fix our problem. Um, and what we need to do is we have to have a div that's going to hold all of our content in the middle of our page. With websites, we have nothing that defines the size of our page. They scroll up and down pretty much to infinity. As long as there's content, we can scroll and there's no problems there. But as far as the left and right goes, you know, you make a new document in lots of other things. They ask us what we want for our dimensions. We don't have that, so it just fills up all the space. So we have to create something that tells it what the dimensions are actually going to be. So I'm going to come in here and create a div class, and I'm going to call it container. Another name you might hear or see people using is called wrapper. And I'm all the way down to the bottom and close that. And we'll just indent all this since we're all inside the container. So some places you, you might see wrapper that's doing the exact same thing as this. Container is really, really popular though. You'll see this used a lot for what we're about to do. Go over to our styles and all we need to do over here, uh, dot container, because I want to select my container. And first I'm going to give it a background color just so we can visualize what's going on. And let's just make it white. Save. Oh, I forgot to save my HTML file. There we go. So my container is there. And it, right now it's not doing anything yet. It just has a white background to it. And it's holding all of my content. What I want to do next, though, is I want to give it a width. So let's say my width is 600 pixels. And now I have a white box that's 600 pixels. And no matter what I do, it's always 600 pixels. The problem is it's stuck over on the left side over here. It's not automatically adjusting to anything. It's just, it's staying on the left, which makes sense. HTML and stuff always starts on the left. Um, so I want to put it in the middle. Now this is where the little nice trick comes in. And what it is, is I want my margin left to be auto. And I want my margin right to be auto. You can't use this trick anywhere you want. This is a special thing. It only really works when the left margin and the right margin are auto. You can't do this for margin top and margin bottom. It's only margin left and margin right. And what it's going to do is it's going to make sure the margin on the left and the margin on the right are always exactly the same. So when I refresh, voila, it's in the middle. And if I make this bigger, it stays in the middle. And if I make that smaller, it stays in the middle. So no matter what I do, it's always in the middle. So that's really fun and cool. Now we can take this a little bit of a step further. Uh, one thing, just to make it easier for you, what you usually see this written as is margin zero space auto. So zero pixels top and bottom and auto left and right. So just margin zero auto. This is the magic sauce. This is what keeps your div or your container in the middle of the page. So right away, this is the big takeaway from this video. A couple of other things we can do to fancy it up a little bit though. Right now my width is locked in at 600 pixels and that looks fine right now, but it's really tiny over here. So one thing you could do instead of putting pixels is I could use percentage. So say I did 70% and this is what I used at the beginning of the video. Uh, for when I was demoing it, but we didn't have a white background. So it's always going to be 70% of the total size. So it's going to grow and it's going to shrink along with my window, but these spaces are going to automatically adjust also. So right now the spaces are still bigger and they get smaller. Uh, so that's a nice one there. And the last, last other thing that we will add into this is something called max width. So my width is 70 pixels, but I'm going to say a max width of 1000 pixels. So what this does, it means, um, save that and refresh. So I have my width of 70% of the total screen. It has my margin zero auto to center it. But now if I'm on a small screen, it's perfect. And it's going to go and go. And you can see right here, it stops growing. 
this box has now hit a width of a thousand pixels. So instead of being 70%, we're saying always be 70, but stop at a thousand. So it can't get bigger than a thousand pixels. So it will shrink down, it will grow, and then it will stop at a thousand pixels. So we can sort of limit a little bit uh, the total size of our layout. And that's it. Nice and short and sweet. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you learned something with this one, and I'll see you in the next video.